All right, once again, good afternoon. Thank you for joining today, KH Colo and Simbra joint webinar. So before we start, uh, I would like to inform you that this is a recorded webinar. The recording will be sent to all the attendees today. Throughout the presentation, you can ask questions using the Q&A box on the right panel. Um, we will have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar, uh, so you can type your questions in the Q&A box. So without fur further ado, let me bring on Dara from KH Colo to kickstart the webinar today. So Dara, over to you. Hello, you mean Sigray Samuel Hiri, Nung Som Tai and Nokon, Jimpuka, Joe Room, Ronet of Near, Nung Krong Kang is in Bra, that way, but Nani for the band. Krom Hon Kakolo, Yung Tai Tap now, the local peep lay Siva, the Yung Chap Lai Ku, Jimmy Krom Hon, all all, the cheers in Bra Jinam. Krom Hon Kakolo, Yung Blas of Akam, the IT maintenance, our center, web development, web hosting, Nung Secure Email Solution. ខ្ញុំឈ្មោះសុវណារានឹងសហការីនឹងចូលរួមសម្របសម្រួលនៅក្នុង <coughs> How he put up the young Joe room web nan and tell, uh, can yom and pia email you earn a bay assess Joe with all the young man record. Okay, young cheer, but top it, yum to lap to and think the eyes are in. Hello, Serene. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dara. So, thank you for the quick introductions and, uh, you know, housekeeping. So let us now proceed to the second session. So I will invite Piyush from Zimbra for the next session. Piyush, take it away. Thank you, Sarin. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to this uh, session with uh, Kolo. And uh, this is the agenda for today. We will talk about who is Zimbra, uh, uh, product overview, uh, licensing options. Uh, we'll do a quick live demo, uh, followed by Q and A. Uh, however, in the meantime, as Serene said, you can still keep on keying in your or typing your questions in the Q and A box uh, in your WebEx, and we will try and answer them. Uh, uh, you know, after uh, the session. So welcome once again. Uh, so talking about uh, who is Senacor and who is Zimbra. So Zimbra was acquired by Senacor uh, in the year 2015. Uh, Senacor is a NASDAQ listed company headquartered in the US and we've got offices across the globe uh, with obviously our headquarters in the US and then we have got uh, the uh, Europe office in London and we've got three uh, offices across uh, the uh, region in Asia Pacific, uh, Singapore, Japan and India, right? So, so we've got our global presence and we do uh, support our customers uh, from these offices. Uh, talking about uh, product uh, as a Zimbra as a product. So Zimbra uh, is one of the leading open source platforms uh, in the world with hundreds of millions of mailboxes running uh, either on premise, on cloud, on a public cloud, or on a SaaS based model from our service providers. So, so it gives you a choice of deployment, whether you want to do it, you know, on premise or cloud or, uh, you know, even consume it as a service. Zimra is not just an email platform. It is a complete collaboration suit with, you know, email calendars, file sharings, uh, audio, video chats, video conferencing all tools integrated into a single software. So everything that you do in, in when you come to the office is all in a single window. We serve uh, almost all segments of customers, whether it is government 
whether it is service providers or small and medium enterprises or even large uh, you know uh, enterprises globally zimbra uh, has been recognized as the top player by third party analysts like radicati so we we do uh, you know feature in in third party reports as well so that uh, you know it's an independent report for uh, our customers to review talking about the collaborative features of zimbra so the best part about zimbra is it's extensible it can integrate with any of your existing business applications you may be using slack dropbox google drive zoom and other uh, business applications currently when you opt for zimbra we do not ask you to replace everything we will integrate zimbra with any of your business applications that you see here so you can continue uh, enjoying the features enjoying the technology that you have uh, you know invested time and money on and just use zimbra integrated with those technologies however if you are not using any of those collaborative platforms zimbra has its native capability to provide the entire collaboration suite whether it is audio video and group chats and one to one chats through zimra connect whether it is file sharing uh, you know uh, internally or externally through zimra drive or creating documents working on those documents collaboratively editing those documents uh, real time through a feature called zimra docs so the basic idea is to make your users more productive make your users uh, use a technology which is easy to learn or if you are already using something we integrate with those existing applications so making your uh, entire collaboration experience seamless so end user experience with zimbra whether you are coming from a full blown desktop browser or a mobile browser or even from a tablet is exactly the same so your features do not drop your interface does not change a lot users do not have to learn different ways of sending emails or receiving emails it is exactly the same no drop in features whether they are coming from a desktop or a mobile or a tablet zimbra uses industry leading react the same technology that uh, maybe facebook uses uh, to develop their web client and the mobile app so the end user experience across all the uh, apps are seamless some of the key administrative features of zimbra zimbra allows you to do storage tiering so if you want to give large mailboxes uh, to your end users you do not have to spend a lot of money on tier 1 expensive disks so it will move data from a tier 1 drive to a tier 2 drive automatically zimbra supports delegated role based administration which means you can have a super user and then you can have a day to day administrator doing basic Uh, jobs of user creations and password resets zimbra supports multi tenancy uh, and multiple domains can be hosted in the same environment so if you are a customer uh, or if you are an it department of a conglomerate which has got multiple businesses you do not have to you know create separate instances for all the organizations a single instance of zimbra can support all your domains it's pretty easy to manage the users in zimbra uh, through policy administration through class of service zimbra natively supports legal compliance and archiving so if you are a customer in fsi or government where the mandate is to keep emails uh, for a duration of 3 5 or 7 years and even recover those emails uh, or search those emails uh, whenever required by an auditor 
So you don't need a third party software. Zimbra's archiving and discovery is a built in capability to do that feature. Zimbra has its native capability of backup restore. Again, um, it helps you uh, to have a single software for everything. You don't have to buy multiple softwares, integrate them, you know, go to different vendors for support. It's an integrated software uh, to provide uh, real time backup. Now, Zimbra backup is a real time backup, which means every email that comes in is backed up immediately. So in case of a disaster, in case of a server crash, you have data of almost up to the very last minute. So you will actually not lose a lot of data uh, with Zimbra backup. Zimbra supports integrations with your Active Directory or any other external LDAP that you may have. However, if you are not running any external LDAP, Zimbra is also shipped with its native LDAP at no additional cost. For security, Zimbra supports S-Mine. So you can sign and encrypt your emails uh, while you're sending those secure emails. Zimbra supports native two-factor authentication. So again, you don't have to buy additional software, additional you know, components to secure your Zimbra environment. So the idea here is that Zimbra is an integrated collaboration and a secure platform, which has a lot of things which are built into the product at no additional cost, providing you almost all the administrative and security features from within the product. Talking about the end user features. So obviously we have mail, calendar, contacts. Some of the key features of Zimbra 9, which makes it more collaborative are file sharing. So if you want to share large attachments and you do not want to send it as an attached email in the body, you can upload it in Zimbra drive and share it from there. You can create documents, spreadsheets, presentations from within the Zimbra web client, share them internally or externally. While you are working on those documents, you can share with those documents with your teammates and multiple people can be editing those documents real time while they are, you know, geographically at different locations. Zimbra supports, uh, something called Zimbra Connect, which is basically video collaboration. So I can do audio video chats. I can do group chats. I can do meetings, uh, you know, uh, from within the Zimbra web console. Again, one uh, key feature of Zimbra is dumpster that helps reduce backup restore tickets. This is a feature where end user can restore emails themselves. They do not have to come to the administrator asking for emails that they accidentally deleted. So the end user can restore emails that he or she deleted in the last maybe 30 days. Zimbra completely supports uh, MAPI or Exchange Web Services depending on uh, what Outlook that you're working on. So if you are, if you are fond of the Microsoft Outlook client, uh, we would, uh, you know, we do not restrict you to use that. You can continue using Microsoft Outlook and get all the enterprise features of Zimbra, uh, email, calendar, contacts, file sharings, uh, you know, everything from uh, within the Outlook client, whether the Outlook is uh, on your uh, Windows PC or on your Mac. But talking about some of the native security features of Zimbra, Zimbra supports two factor authentication, S mine for uh, email encryption. Zimbra also supports a remote wipe of mobile devices. So if your user has lost the email uh, mobile device or has moved out of the organization, 
you can remotely wipe out the data on his mobile device. Legal compliance archiving, support for SPF, DKIM, and DMARC uh, uh, to ensure that your emails and domains are not spoofed. Basic DOS filtering uh, is built into the product. Configure your strong passwords and SMTP authentication. Again, these are components that are built into the product to secure your Zimbra environment. Talking about the, the native MDM capabilities while you are using Zimbra, today in more, almost 70% of the work that we do, we do it through mobile devices, right? So it it is very important for the IT team to secure your data on the mobile devices. So we do support Microsoft Active Sync as a protocol, which ensures that you are able to sync your emails, calendars, contacts, uh, folders on the mobile devices. At the same time, we can secure your email device, uh, mobile device while we can remotely wipe out data. We can restrict only corporate approved devices to be accessed on the mobile device. So if you are a user who has got multiple devices, only corporate approved devices will be allowed to sync emails. So I can restrict which devices are allowed to sync emails, uh, even if I am a valid user. Zimbra is pretty. Uh, you know, easy to integrate and customize. So these are some of the extensions or as we call it Zimlets that are currently available in the product. So we have Zoom, Slack, Jitsi, Dropbox, uh, Nextcloud, Google Drive, OneDrive. All of these integrations are currently available out of the box. And there are many other integrations that are coming in future. So if you are a customer, if you are a you know organization using any of these tools, you can continue using these tools and integrate Zimbra with those tools. Zimbra can completely uh, you know uh, be customized and white labeled to look as if it is uh, an email software of your own organization. So you can put your own color schemes, your own uh, logos, your own themes your own menu items, everything uh, is integrated. Uh, sorry, it is completely white, uh, customizable. You can have your own, uh, you know, brands and themes available on, on the web client. Uh, so, so there are uh, two additions or other deployment models are three options that are available for, for, for a customer to choose from. You can choose perpetual licenses where the licenses are on the name of the end customer. Uh, you just need to renew the subscription and support every year on year. Just in case you do not renew SNS, you will continue to use the software. However, you will not be entitled for any upgrades, updates, or even support uh, from the Zimbra product support team. The other option is subscription licensing, which means uh, you can buy subscription licenses and renew the subscription year on year. As long as your subscription is live, you are entitled for all upgrades, updates, and support from the product. If you do not renew the subscription any year, your software will stop working. The third option is email being consumed as a service from a service provider. So in this case, the licenses are on the name of the cloud service provider who hosts Zimra software along with the infrastructure components and provides it as a software as a service model to the end customers. So as a customer, you have a choice of using, uh, you know, procuring perpetual licenses, deploy it in whether you deploy it on premise or whether you want to deploy it on a, on a public cloud or a private cloud you can use subscription licenses again choice is yours to deploy it on a public cloud on a private cloud 
or consume it as a service from service provider partners uh, in your region. Uh, so I, I am done uh, with the presentation. I will just uh, take a couple of seconds to switch over uh, to the demo. While you can keep on, you know, typing in your questions uh, in the Q and A box. Uh, can you see my uh, web client now? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you, Sareen. Uh, so yeah, so when a user logs in uh, to the Zimra web client, uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, as I said, you can completely change the logo uh, here and have your own themes and everything. Uh, you can put your profile pictures, uh, change it. In the settings gear, you can have your you know, settings about, uh, you know, details about what is the date format you want, what is the viewing, whether you want to view it in a conversation view or a threaded view. You can define your signatures, out of office messages. You can create your filters. All of them, your basic preferences can be defined here. Now, if you go down in the settings tab, I, I can see those add-ons, right? The ones that we discussed uh, during our session uh, presentation. So. In this account, I have integrations with, uh, you know, OneDrive, Slack, Dropbox, and Zoom. So how do I just uh, integrate? So I just click on OneDrive. I click on activate. It will pop up uh, my uh, a window where I need to put in my credentials for Microsoft and just say next. So once uh, I do that, it will automatically be there. I have not done it for OneDrive, but I have done it for Google. So if you see this, uh, I have done my integration with Google. I have done my integration with Dropbox. Uh, I have done an integration with Slack, right? So now I have done all of these integrations, but how do you really use it? So when I come to my message, I say new message. And if I say, for example, I say Ellen, I click on her name and I can see a green icon right here which means Ellen is available on Slack, right? Uh, if I say, for example, Sireen. Sireen is not logged into Slack, so I can see my Slack presence from within the web client. So if I want to chat with any of my uh, colleagues, I can just click on this and start chatting on the Slack web client or even on the Slack uh, desktop client, depending on my preference. Again, going uh, to the integrations with, uh, you know, file sharing softwares. So if you see here, I have done integrations with Google Drive and Dropbox. So depending on how I really want to uh, send a file, if I want to send a file as a as a link, I just need to click here. If I want to send it as a, a embedded attachment, I can click here. So depending on how I really want to send it, I can. Uh, select that option and accordingly uh, it will either open my uh, Google Drive and I can select a file or op open my Dropbox uh, and it will open the appropriate folder structure where I can select a file and send them. I can just discard this email for now and then come back to my inbox. If you see here in my inbox, I can I can see two of my buddies uh, as green, right? So this is Ellen and this is Eugene. The, I, those uh, two friends or those two colleagues are online. Now, while I could also see Slack presence, if I am not using Slack, as I said, Zimra has its native capabilities of Zimra Connect. So I can start doing I can start doing a one-to-one -one text chat with my colleague. Uh, just for your information, Ellen is based out of Singapore. I am based out of uh, New Delhi in India, and we can still do a 
quick chat, uh, a one-to-one -one chat. Now, if I had to do a group chat with Ellen and Eugene, uh, I can just go here in my, uh, you know, chat interface and I can see uh, all my buddies that are online, or I can actually have a space created and I, I can have members of the space here. So I, I can see Ellen and Eugene online. I can say, right? So uh, I can see both Ellen and Eugene here. I can create my own spaces. I can create my own chat, private chats or public chats. So I can create cha channels or spaces. Uh, as an administrator, I can add more members. I can remove a member from this, right? Uh, if I can also do a group uh, video call. Uh, so let's try and do a video call. Uh, so I, I can choose to mute my microphone, which I will do because uh, it will echo with the WebEx video. So I can just click on this. That's me. And there you see Eugene and there you see Ellen, right? So uh, here you see the three of us. Uh, uh, we can do a group uh, video chat. I, I can, you know, really disable my video uh, because I don't look as good as the other two. So I can disable my video uh, or uh, even continue uh, chatting right here, right? So. So the basic idea is we can do a group video chat, a group text chat uh, from within the web interface. So that's that's about the Zimbra Connect piece. Uh, we also have integrations with uh, third party meeting uh, tools like WebEx and Zoom. If you remember I show, so I can do a meeting. I can, I, I have this integration with Jitsi, which is a, a, an open source, uh, tool for video callings and video conferencing. I just need to click on this Zimlet. It will automatically create a meeting, uh, Jitsi meeting. I can invite Ellen and Eugene. And if I click here, I can see their availability. So if I want to change this time from, you know, 4 p.m., uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. India time, so it will automatically tell me if both of them are available at, at this time, right? So I, I don't have to really call them up and ask them if they would be available. If their calendar is updated, I can just go ahead and, and book a meeting and they, they will get this link. They just need to click on this link uh, to, uh, you know, uh, get on to this uh, video call. Uh, talking about, uh, more integrations. So uh, coming to Zimra Drive. So Zimra Drive is a capability where you can create documents, spreadsheets, presentations. You can create your own folders or even upload files from a local PC, right? So you can upload files from a local PC to, uh, you know, edit them, uh, share them internally or externally. For this demo, I will just go ahead and create a spreadsheet for demo 25th March. Uh, if you see this, I can share this file. Now I, I will share this file with Ellen and give her edit and share access. I will also give Eugene. Now, these are internal users. If I had to share this file externally, I will just click on this and then I can make this link as a public link. For the purpose of this demo, I will just make this here and there you go, right? Uh, we already have uh, three users in, so me, Eugene and Ellen. So Right. So 
the three of us uh, can be uh, editing the same document at the same time. Uh, and since this is a spreadsheet, we could, we could do spreadsheet functions. Uh, you know, I can just uh, save this. I can even download this file as uh, an open document format. I can download this as a uh, as a Microsoft spreadsheet. Uh, I can download it as a PDF, or a, I just save it and close it while uh, the other two uh, can still continue editing this document, right? So if I need to open it back again, I just double click again, and I, I can see, uh, you know, we Eugene and Ellen are still working on that document, right? So, so the idea here is uh, to do a real time collaboration with amongst the team, and especially in these days where you know people are working in geographically different locations, working from home, then still need to create you know, a common presentation, still work in a team. So. Zimbra provides you an entire collaboration suit uh, to give you everything that you do uh, when you come to the office, whether it is emails, file sharings, video callings, calendaring, everything in a single interface. Uh, so I, I, I am done, uh, pretty much done with the demo. Uh, uh, we will go back uh, and do q and I guess, yeah. Thank you, Piyush. Thank you. So we will now move to the Q&A session. So we have a couple of questions that came in. Um, one of it is, what's the difference between Simbra Doc and Google Doc? Uh, okay, so the, the first one is uh, Zimbra Docs come from Zimbra, Google Docs from Google. <laughs> no, but then, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, so it's pretty much the same, uh, providing you almost the same functionalities where uh, you can create documents, spreadsheets, presentations uh, from the web client. Uh, you can uh, share them internally, externally, work on those documents collaboratively. So it's pretty much the same. Yes, there may be some functions that are available uh, with Zimbra and not available with Google Drive and vice versa, right? So if you go ahead and look at, you know, some spreadsheet functions that are available with only Google Drive and some spreadsheet functions would only be there with Zimbra, Drive, uh, Zimbra Docs. So broadly, yes, it is the same functionality, which is providing you enterprise document collaboration. Uh, Thank you, Piyush. So the next question is um, for remote wipe uh, of the mobile devices. Uh, is there a wipe that only um, Wipe out data email, a uh, data mail, or also phone data. Uh, there is an option to wipe out only account, and there is an option to wipe out the entire uh, mobile. But it also depends on 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 the handset, right? Because Active Sync is is a client protocol, so it depends on what mobile device that the end user is using. And what is the implementation of active sync uh, on the mobile device? But we do have options for both, whether you want to remote wipe only the account or the entire device. Thank you, Piyush. So another question, does Simbra 9 have Cisco WebEx Zimlet for modern web app? Yes. All right. So um, one more question, uh, is Simbra also can be installed on on premise server. Uh, sorry, what was the question? Uh, I think is can Zimbra be installed on prem? Yes, you can. So, so Zimbra provides you a choice of deployment whether you want to deploy it on prem or the whether you want to use it uh, deployed on a public cloud like Amazon, Oracle, or Azure, or, or anyone. So you have a choice of deploying it a, a, at at a data center of your choice. So maybe this question is more towards for Dara. Thank you, um, thank you, Piyush. So this question is more towards for Dara. Um, Dara, so there is a question: If if I'm using clouds, does Zimbra need license or is the license free? How many packet of licenses do would I need? Hello. Yes. 
Yes, um, actually for yes, the Zimbra, we uh, for our hosting, we provide only a Zimbra license. And for the package, uh, maybe uh, we will contact offline uh, to to you. Okay, thank you. Yes, um, Mr. Visna. Yes. So one more question. Uh, how big is a mailbox per account? Uh, that's a configuration parameter. So uh, it's it if you're using on-prem, you can configure it of your own choice. If you're using it from as a SaaS model from a service product, it will depend on the offering of the service provider. So, but uh, technically, it is it is uh, it's a configurable parameter. Okay, so um, this is a follow up of the on prem um, installation. So, maybe Dara can take this. Uh, is there any license fee about the on prem? Installing Zimbra on premises, is there any license fee? Um, yes, uh, we uh, the customer need to buy the license and we provide the configuration and consulting for customer for you. And mm. yes, okay. So, and... um, there's also another follow up questions, but I think this one, uh um, why don't I send it over to Dara and then Dara can uh, reach out to um, to the person asking and uh, because it's more towards Linux and Windows licenses, so I think that would that would more towards Dara will be able to answer that. Um, yes, that's... Um, yes. Uh, for the question regarding to license, maybe we uh, I, I I will go to one to one. Uh, mm. with you and yes uh to understand more detail about the requirement correct yeah. okay so then um there's one more question um how much storage mailbox per user and how much for zimbra drive uh it's a common storage so so uh, whatever quota that you give uh, uh it's it's shared between the mailbox and the drive. Okay, so um, I don't see any more questions. So, so we are having an exclusive promotion uh, on today's webinar. So you've signed up for a 10 mailbox free trial for two weeks. You can send your request to sales at khcolo.com. Uh, the offer is valid until 31st March 2021. So I'll repeat, send your request for a 10 free mailbox free trial for two weeks to sales at khcolo.com. Uh, the offers will end on 31st March. And this is exclusive promotion for all the attendees of today's webinar. So, um, as mentioned, we will be sending the recording um, to all the attendees. If there's any questions that we did not answer, we'll reach out personally. Dara and Piyush will reach out personally to answer your questions. So, thank you for spending the afternoon with us and have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, thank you, everyone, and bye. Okay, Akon Ngoknia, Snapchat, Room. ហើយជួនប៉ោសមកភាពល្អតាក់ទុកមួយនឹងសំណួរផ្សេងៗអឺយើងអាចតាក់ទុកសារីខ្វាញ់ <coughs> អឺបងប្អូនអ្នកបានចូលរួមវិបបិណានេះគឺយើងអាចរីខ្វេស្ត <coughs> 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 Thank you, Payush and Sarin and Eugene.
Elance. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.